Today, as you can see by the title, we are going over the AK-47 in Modern Warfare. Now, this gun is a special AR, not just because it's the AK-47, but also because this gun can be turned into the AK-74U and the RPK. We're not going to be getting into those at all today. I'll have a video out tomorrow on the RPK, and I might have a video out on the AK-74U. But either way, this gun is awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys this class setup and then we are gonna jump into a game so that I can show y'all just how great this gun is. To start off, we're gonna be putting on the 23 inch RPK barrel. This is gonna help with your accuracy, your range, and your control. You will lose a little bit of your mobility and your aim down sight speed, but I find that this works best for me. The recoil on this AK is pretty bad, so you need to figure out ways to counter that, and this will help a lot with it. Now, if you're worried about your mobility and you're one to move around a lot, you can put on the Elite Barrel. This is going to help your mobility, but you're not going to have as much control with your weapon. Next, I put on the Skeleton Stock. This will help with pretty much everything that the barrel took away. This will help with all of that mobility plus give you more. You're going to lose some of your accuracy, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. You will still be able to control your weapon fairly well with this. Other ARs, I put on the close quarter stock. That'll be up to you, but I find that this gun is just so slow. I like the skeleton stock to move around a lot more, especially with that barrel that we put on. So I would stick with that skeleton stock. It's probably going to work best for you. And then for the under barrel, I put on commando foregrip. The Merc foregrip is also a great under barrel for this weapon. The reason why I don't use the Merc foregrip and I use the commando foregrip is because that Merc foregrip affects your aim down sight speed and your mobility more than the commando foregrip does and with the time to kill so fast in this game you're going to be wanting to be the first one to pull your weapon up the commando foregrip is going to do a better job with that next i run the stipled grip tape i think i run this on every single ar it's honestly just the way to go with the rear grip again this is going to help your aim down sight speed your mobility you'll lose very very little control but the amount that it helps with that aim down sight speed is going to help you more than the cons of this weapon now i run the fully loaded perk sometimes i'll put on sleight of hand but i hate running out of ammo so i run on fully loaded if you want you can get rid of that and put on a reflex sight any kind of optic sight that you want i find that the iron sights do great for me but once again that's up to personal preference we're going to be jumping into a match now i do want to talk about a few things while we're looking for a match this gun is a fantastic gun but it's not going to outshoot an m4 or the kilo 141 at long ranges more of the close quarter faster paced maps you're going to be wanting the ak-47 and that's really what it's best for because it does have a higher damage but with the amount of recoil on this gun, you're going to have difficulties at far, far range. Now, my absolute favorite map right now is Shoot House. So we're going to be jumping into this one. And of course, that's going to be perfect for this AK-47. All right, we're jumping into a kill confirmed here. Hopefully it'll go well. This map, I know I've said it before, it can really only go one or two ways. Either really good or really bad. I've kind of been figuring out how to make it go a little better. There we go, that pre-nade, and there was another one. Nice, really nice. Wow, the MG34 as well. It's been a minute since I died from that. That's gonna be fun. Oh, and we watched him spawn. Sorry, not really. Just shows you how amazing these spawns are in Modern Warfare. There we go. Ah! Ah! Flood bullets, I'm scared. Please don't hurt me. And then it wasn't even the same person. That's great. I'm gonna lay down. Because I know someone's gonna push. There we go. Maybe another one. Teammate got him. And that was the MG34. That's such a weird weapon to use. I I don't know if that's just me, but I don't see myself ever using that weapon. Unless uh, I could have had him. Unless maybe 
for the challenges, but that's about it. I do know that someone's over here. Oh, and he just jumped around. Maybe come through here? Nope. There we go. Okay. What? Is this bullshit? What? So I've been kind of figuring out how to play this game, this map. Is that an enemy? Oh. I. Um. Okay, holy shit! What the fuck? Okay, I was not expecting that to be an enemy. Not at all. But yeah, like I was saying, I've been kind of figuring out how to play this map a little better recently. Like, you can still definitely play faster, but you also have to play more passive at the same time. So passive-aggressive while looking at every single corner on this map. Seriously, the more that you pre-aim stuff, the more you look at every corner, it's going to work out better for you. Unless you're going against these MG38s, then you're fucked. Oh, I got him. I got him this time. There's also someone always right here, it seems like. I don't know why, but it's a very popular spot. Was, was that really? Really? Do you have anything better to do with your life? Anything. Ah! Okay. I saw it on the map. I don't know why I spawned there, but I did. Please come back. Please. Thank you. I wonder if this guy's gonna be here again. Let's see if we can get this. Nope. Oh. What? Did I did I not get a hit marker? Here we go. Where's that come back? That's two. I should probably start picking up these tags so that we can actually win this. That might help our situation a little better. And I didn't kill him. Is he still over here? Oh. I'm so confused what's happening. Oh my god. I jumped. Like, not just in-game, but real life. Okay. Okay, there's someone up here. They have a shotgun. I'm gonna push it anyways because I live for dying. Okay. There we go. Maybe someone pushing over here in a moment. Yes. Wait, that rolled bad. Okay, okay, that could have been bad. We're good. We're good. We're a couple kills off our VTOL. I. He... I'm not even going to question it. I really am not. We are catching up, though. There you go, teammate. Sit right here. I'm gonna get someone. You ready? There we go. And that long shot. Getting those challenges. Honestly, this map is so small. All you have to do is look at where your teammates are. And then look at the other side. Don't tell me he just spawned there. Do not... T R really? And the 725? That's... But yeah, you really just have to look at where your teammates are. And then go on the other side of the map. And boom, you'll find people. But then again, it's really not that hard to find people in this game. No! No, 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 no. Not the shotgun. Never. I deserve to die there. But you know what? That's okay. Pick someone off over here. Nope. Okay. There we go. There we go, teammate. Oh, uh, this game is so close. I don't think that we're going to win. We really might not. No! If you guys are going... For gold or just ranking up your weapon, I would recommend using this class setup. I will be making a gold video on it shortly. That'll be up in probably two days. That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I will see y'all in the next one.